Hi, my name is Robert Perez. I'm a D-Min student at, the, at Harding School of Theology. I preach at the Santa Paula Church of Christ. You might have heard about Santa Paula from all the recent fires. We're okay, but um, I'd like to start off with a scripture reading to encourage you. This is from Isaiah 40, verse 31. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary, and they will walk and not be faint. I love that verse because it's especially true for guys that are getting older in ministry like myself. I'm 57 years old, and I feel, feel the heart and the vigor of a young person, but my body is getting a little bit older. But I do appreciate being here at Harding School of Theology to renew, I guess, my spirit and my strength as a minister. I guess what I wanted to share with what Matt asked me to do was to... Uh, I guess talk about how Harding uh, School of Theology, the Demon program, has really helped me as a minister and as a person. So let me uh, answer the question as a minister first. I came here for three particular reasons to renew my ministry, but one of them related to this question is to take my ministry to the next level. Um, when I left Harding in 1992, a long time ago when I graduated with my Master of Divinity, I was pretty good. I felt pretty good about the preaching and teaching aspect of ministry and still feel the same way. But as I gotten older, the one area I knew I needed strength in and help in is uh, how to deal with conflict and crisis and leadership issues. And the DMIN program has been beneficial. I've taken classes with uh, Dr. Gupton on crisis, change, conflict, and came up with a little synopsis of paper how to do deal with conflict and that was a big help. Um, dealing with Dr. Hufford's class on the spiritual development and Dr. Bland's class on wisdom um, literature or wisdom, the Proverbs and stuff. So I've really, it's really helped me spiritually but to deal with behind the scenes stuff um, was new for me and I'm grateful for that. Um, as far as spiritually, um, just coming to campus reinvigorates me. I remember I preached a sermon in here back about Proverbs. It's better to be one day at HST than a thousand elsewhere. I know that's from Psalms, but I just love that verse. And when I'm here, I feel excited. I feel reinvigorated. I could throw away all my problems away. And I'm around good people. And so I really appreciate being here on campus. And I guess my prayer for you is that uh, if you were my son, who's a senior at Pepperdine University and you were coming to Harding, get involved in um, the local churches, be in youth ministry, get involved in the ministries they have to offer, um, take the great professors and uh, just love this special time in your life. And never forget one thing. When I came here, there were, I came here for three professors in mind, Dr. Black, um, has been a profound impact on me for over 30 years. Dr. Oster, the toaster, we used to call him, um, had a profound impact on my theology, especially preaching in the New Testament. And obviously I was recruited here because of the Huffords. Everett was in Los Angeles at the Montebello Church of Christ when I was a new Christian, and he's still here. And so I really appreciate not only what Everett has, off to, uh, has offered to help me with, but also his wife, Eileen. I really thank both the Huffords and their family. And so with that, I'll sign off and God bless you.